This is a short movie showing Image Pro Premiere version 9 and how to set up and use the caliper tool for automated edge detection. First, we'll select, select an image. In this case, this is a fish otolith. And what we're going to look at are the distances between this ring structure. So to do that, first we'll go to the measure tab and select line profile caliper. Automatically what you'll notice is a line profile is automatically placed on the image. We can use this for automated edge detection or we can delete that and choose to draw any one of our sampling tools here, whether it's a rectangle, pellet, polygon, any type of circle, or line or polyline. So in this case, I'm just going to go and draw a simple line. I'm going to start from one position and go all the way up. And we'll just go right past there. What I'm going to do is just zoom this down a little bit so you can see the whole image. And now, first thing we want to do is determine what type of edge we want. In this case, edge detection, we have peaks, valleys, rising edge, falling edge, and we also have pattern match, where this is looking for a specific pattern. In this case, we're going to choose a valley. As soon as you turn that on, it will automatically find where there are valleys in the image. In this case, I'm looking at on the line profile. I just bring that up here. These valleys. As you can see, there's a bit of intensity variation, so we, we can adjust this a little bit to find the other valleys. To do this, we have a couple of choices. One is we can actually use a thicker line to take out some of the variation. And I can use the options here. So in this case, there's two under the valley. There's a correlation, which is not sensitive to changing lighting conditions in the image where you're having bright and dark areas versus a weighted, which is. So in this case, let me just show a little bit of the differences. Right now, we're weighted. I can actually run a smoothing filter. If I want to see that difference, I can show the weighted profile. So this is what we're actually determining. The weighted profile is just showing in the blue line here. And so by running a smoothing filter, I can work out some of the variations. I can pick up some more edges. I can do a pixel offset. I can also take into account the threshold. So I'm going to do a simple segmentation threshold. By doing that, you can see I can pick up some more of the valleys there. I can also correct for some background conditions. Taking that too much, let me just bring that back a little bit. I can easily go and select the other method. So let me make some adjustments here. If I have too much of a threshold, bring that up a little bit. And usually what you'll find one method or the other is better. And let me smooth that out a little bit more. You can see that you get the very quick feedback and adjustments. See here, there's a little, actually like a second ring, there's an artifact there. So what we can do is adjust our threshold. And we're satisfied with that. We can stop at this point. We can also, if we need to, manually add and delete edges. And you can choose any type of edge. You can also name these edges um, by using the class name. And we can also color code these. And we'll have um, quite a number of labs that will actually name their edges and, and add those uh, manually to the image. So if you'd like to add an edge, I can choose what type. I could add a valley. And if I need to add one here, now I'm just going to click on one. For example, I've done pretty well finding them all. I can simply highlight that, click on the image, and add it. You can see I've added one right there. I can also, if I need to, by holding down the shift key, remove one. So I can easily easily edit my edges. So if you need to do a manual review and there was an extra one, I just pull those out. So a couple of other nice things about caliper is right now, if it's a color image, you can use a mono interpretation where I can actually look at the red, green, and blue values this is a little crowd here. I should thin this out a little bit. If you have spatial calibration associated with the image, in this case, I do this image is calibrated. 
the measurements will come out in calibrated units. So now let me show you how to make some measurements. It's very simple and straightforward. I can choose what type of measurement. So if I want to go valley to valley, for example, I can select that, simply add it. And what you'll now see is in my data table, I now have my distance measurements from valley to valley. All the data tables can easily be exported to Excel. Um, I can, this table actually allows me to look at the line profile, the raw data, and my measurements table. In addition, if you need to make some adjustments here, you can change the fonts. I have complete control over the annotation. For more information, please contact your local sales office. Thank you.